Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. So we're doing the afternoon quickie tarot. It's where I try to keep it under 20 minutes and I think I have so far. Uh, anyway, I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you who are here sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so we're just going to jump into it see what wants to come out here. This is the afternoon quickie tarot. I post one of these every single day. So if you don't get notifications, that's a YouTube thing. <laughs> um, I also post an, uh, an, another video at 1030 Eastern Standard Time every single night. All right. So for the Oracle card, we have sacred space sacred space and you might want to burn some sage I felt guided to I have I have two different kinds of incense going I have frankincense and myrrh and I also have sage burning so you're going to see a lot of smoke right now um, you might want to clean your sacred space or create a sacred space if you don't have one a place where you can go you can meditate you can honor your ancestors or you can uh, do your tarot if you read tarot because you need a sacred space for you all right especially if you live in a household where you get interruptions if you live alone try to create a little place for you where you can go and have your peaceful moments your zen moments okay and you might have multiple places or multiple locations all right that's fine too but something to do with sacred space here and even if you have a work cubicle you can make it very uh, sacred to you you know plants and um, obviously a lot of people can't burn candles at work but you know you can plant plants always clean the energy all right so keep that in mind you can probably have a little plant or something at work all right nine cards nine cards show me what I need to see four of worlds okay i have the four worlds i have art which is temperance energy archangel energy um integration coming in balancing all right so far i like what i'm seeing except for one card let me get more out For the major arcana, I have Sagittarius and Pisces. I also have Cancer here with the Sage of Cups. Okay. Well, this is more than nine cards, but I guess it meant to come out. Ace of, one on, Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So that's also telling me about a new beginning, a new passion, a new project even. And, um, you know, I've been getting two of cups. You've been attracting someone towards you, okay? You could be attracting a Leo towards you. It doesn't have to be that. But you've been attracting happiness towards you because Leo does stand for happiness when it's the sun card, all right? It's not strength. It's the sun card. Happiest card of the deck. And two of cups is right behind that. And then the five of crystals. So someone... I'm going to clarify, but I'm going to tell you right now, somebody's thinking about you. I can see that. Somebody's thinking about a new beginning with you, but they're holding back. They're holding back. They're not talking about it. Um, or this could be you if you're cross-watching. And here we have the Empress and the Hierophant. Somebody, you know, for somebody, there is uh, unlocking the key to the next level. Um, going the next level with a person. And if you've already... Uh, met somebody okay you could be going to the next level with them you know it could go into um, a deeper commitment it could go into marriage even all right because what I see here is somebody like if you're if you've already dated if you're already dating somebody um, connecting with someone somebody might be holding back that they want to you know marry you okay they might be holding back that conversation right now because sometimes people have weird beliefs you know they believe if they tell someone that they want to get married or you know that they love them that it, it all goes to you know it goes south right it doesn't work out some people that's a concept right that's a concept so 
when I see sacred here, I also want to think of this as space, but two people together can be a sacred space between them, sacred couples, because I see two of cups and I see the empress. So you're definitely um, attracting a soulmate, someone that you can go all the way with. And if you've already met this person, okay, then it's going to definitely go to the next level. Tell me about the four worlds. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Somebody is afraid to say that they want this. All right. Someone is afraid to say that they want forever with you. And maybe it's you. Okay, Aquarius. Maybe it's you because roles can be reversed. But somebody, somebody really wants to tell the other person, but they're afraid to. But they know. They already know. They've already gained this perspective. Hangman is in reverse. So this is something someone's already gained the perspective. Um, and like I said, we have the star card in the upright, and we have the ace of pentacles here in the reverse. You, it could literally be Aquarius holding back from saying that I want to be forever with you. And like I said, this can have to do with a concept, a belief. Um, if, if someone's in the divine feminine energy, someone could be like, well, it's not my job to chase. And you're right. If you're in the empress energy, whether you are male or female, if you're in that yin energy... You would feel that the other person needs to uh, connect with you first or, you know, it might be a belief or a concept. So somebody could be holding back and hoping that the other person comes forward, okay, to say what it is. Because this is balancing it out, blending, all right. And I do see two people, two energies blending. And this is something that, you know, you, either one or both of you have manifested this. But somebody's really not making a move. And we have the magician there with... Um, Virgo, Mercury, um, Gemini energy. All right, somebody already knows they have found or they know who their person is. Either they found their person or they know who their person is. And they're just sort of holding back, not saying anything. I feel like they're manifesting that the other person comes forward and says it first, really. <laughs> but you're both quite fond of each other. You both look, look into each other, look after each other, or you spy on each other. Okay, this could be a past life connection. Someone that you've met in the past. Tell me about the Child of Cups. This is that conversation. And finally will happen. Four of Cups reverse. So somebody has been holding back about where they want to go with you. All right. Um, but they keep returning to the ideal of you and them. That is passing by, and someone is literally ready to just make the first move. They know what they want. They're going to get beyond and past the concept of being afraid to speak their mind and say what they want because of whatever phobia. Like I said, it don't even have to be a phobia. It can be a belief. I feel strongly it's a belief, a concept that someone's like, well, they should make the first move, or somebody is like, well, um, you know... If we get married, it would just ruin things. You know, there's some sort of belief or concept that's in the way. And I would say, um, notice that if it's you. And if it's this other person, I see the four cups reversed. So I do see somebody moving beyond that. Tell me about the ten of crystals. I think that's part of the belief. Yeah. So the reason someone's holding back about having some sort of relationship or connection with you, or if you're already in a connection, someone's holding back of saying that they want to go the next level, it's because they're confused and it's really a concept because somebody has some sort of illusion that it will, it will get ruined, okay? It won't stay like it is, or once you guys come together, it won't last. So there's something to do with that. We have Cancer Energy with the Chariot, but this is why someone's holding back. But the thing is, it's building up inside, and it could be you, um, but it is masculine energy, okay? We have Aquarius here, but it can be representing your match in the masculine sense. Someone could be holding this back, but literally, it won't be able, you know, <laughs> this tower breaks, okay? So somebody's not going to be able to hold back this information much longer. Tell me about the Sage of Cups. And it could be another Aquarius air sign, but it can just be your match. Somebody, you know, Aquarius in the upright is like shooting straight from the hip and someone's really thinking about this. And it's really about getting out of someone's mind. 
So there is somebody who you could be dating this person with the Sage of Cups energy, Cancer energy could be a Cancer, but this is somebody who is going to get out of their mind, okay, and make this happen or say that, look, I don't, I want more than dating with you, okay, I want something long term or I want to go from dating to the next level because you could also already be seeing or dealing with this person, but somebody is just so afraid of failure here. Tell me about the hangman, Piscean energy. So somebody may be holding back because maybe they've had failed relationships, failed marriages, um, don't want to get the families or children involved, okay? So someone is just sort of, rather than decide that they're going to ruin someone else's life. Like I said, this is a belief. It's like, maybe I should just, you know, stay where I'm at. This is and, and 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 not go to the next step or not see where this could go. So someone is really confused when it comes to that, but it has a lot to do. It's tied to a trauma. I do have the wounded warrior here. Tell me about the nine of worlds. That's somebody who might just want to keep it single, keep it casual, but they're in love. You know, the nine of worlds is a, a card of being single, and it's a card of you know having everything they need, but that person to share their life with. So when they do pick a person or they do find someone they want to share their life with, providing that other person wants it with them, then it's because they want to, not because they're codependent or whatnot. But someone has some sort of belief, concept, fear that it won't last if you go the next level or that it won't last if you guys just get together. And they have to get beyond that. Ten of Wands, it's a big burden, especially next to the Nine of Swords. Three, they want this so bad. Three, <laughs> three of swords reverse, six of pentacles reverse. Okay, more than anything, they want to reverse these thoughts. Okay, they want to heal themselves. They want to get beyond this. It's a great burden to this person, and I feel that you've attracted this person. I feel that you and them, um, very good match. Just somebody has some issues to get beyond. Tell me about the Empress. That is Taurus, Venus. Libra energy, divine feminine energy, king of cups reverse, cancer Scorpio Pisces doesn't have to be, but I feel someone's very, I'm telling you, we saw that tower. Someone's very emotional here, but they're holding back. Okay. They're not acting in their higher self. They're actually acting out of fear. And that's what's holding them back from you is fear. Tell me about the sun, but they're looking at all the happiness that can be had between you two. All the happiness that could be happen, happening. And they're just so stuck in their head. Nine of swords, five of swords. Uh, six of swords reversed. They're so stuck in their head about this. Tell me about the sun. Yes. Taurus, Libra energy in the reverse. Pisces, Virgo energy in the reverse. Integration, temperance energy here twice. Archangel guidance even. Like, you two are a perfect match. And I do feel that Spirit is trying to push you two together to either go the next level or uh, to meet, okay, or for someone to finally reach out and say what it is that they want here. Um, and I'm hearing in my mind, tell me, what, tell me what you mean to say. Tell me what you mean to say. I'm hearing that in my mind. And I do have um, Sagittarius energy here with that Archangel. I don't know if I said that. Tell me about the Two of Cups. This is... I feel like even though the card Sacred Space came out, I feel like you guys are Sacred Soulmates because there's no card to say Sacred Soulmates. And we have number 21. You could be seeing twos, ones, or threes. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Knight of Cups reverse. And it's here twice, the Knight of Cups. Look, somebody doesn't want to either date if they're dating, if they said that they would just stay single because they're afraid things wouldn't work out. Somebody wants to be with you or if somebody who you are already dating they don't want to date anymore. They really want to go the next level. Like I said, this can be vice versa if you're dealing with inquiries. But this is a whole thing. There's some sort of fear. There's some sort of fear or belief in a concept. And that's what's really holding it back. Tell me about five of crystals, but they can't stop thinking about this. Five of wands. Can't stop thinking about this. They want to release this burden. Tell me about that five of wands. Exactly what are you trying to say with that five of wands? Hmm. Page of Cups. Okay. 
So whatever this belief is, you know, and I do feel that somebody feels like they'd be better off maybe sometimes single rather than ruining or getting caught up in somebody's life and then having a breakup. Like somebody has some sort of trauma. I have the... I have the wounded warrior here. Somebody has some sort of trauma tight, attached to a belief, a concept, a fear. And that's what's really controlling this person. Their fear is controlling them. They can't stop thinking about this, though. Full moon is Sagittarius. See the bigger picture? I think somebody's starting to. Anyway, let's get a bonus card, and then we'll get your reading out to you guys. Thank you for being here. Take inspired action. Full moon in Virgo. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but somebody is about to take inspired action. I feel this is a sacred union. Um, but if you don't have a sacred space to go and connect, definitely go and connect with the sacred, sacred space and the sacred heart. Really, the sacred space is your sacred heart. So I feel you two are very good together. Somebody's afraid, though. Anyway, guys, thank you for your afternoon quickie tarot reading. I love you and namaste, my friends.